Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello. Hi. Um, I guess I'm gonna try to do daily vlogs in September. I don't know. We'll see what happens. They may be weird. Um, I just, I don't know how to start these, so we're gonna pretend I've been doing them for a while and that you and I, we, we know each other really well. Um, we're gonna pretend not and we'll just go forward because I'm not good at the this part at all. Basically today's vlog really is going to be focusing on kind of the earliest stages of my planning process and how I begin new projects. This goes for personal work and work for its paper dear. So I started by just writing lists, anything that's in my head at all, and then I start by really rough sketching. This keeps me loose and um, it keeps me from like looking too much to other people's work or getting any kind of any ideas that aren't really kind of what's in my own head already. And it just kind of gets me starting to really brainstorm and think about what I want this next collection to look like. And then from there, normally what I do is I will actually go backwards and see what we did the year before, and which is what I'm doing here. Um, I'm just kind of looking at what we did, reminding myself of what sold well, what didn't, what I liked, what I didn't like, um, Anything about that kind of stuff that can inform my decisions going forward for this year. Um, when I'm filming this, it is August 31st, um, and sadly I had a whole lot of um, audio issues. I did not realize that the fan I had going in the background was making little popping sounds, so I apologize for that. So that's why I'm doing the voiceover right now. Um, I know that's a little bit weird, but I was editing this quite a few hours later and I just didn't like what it sounded like and, but you know, you live and you learn. Uh, this is a, um, kind of an experiment for me. I am intending on doing 30 days of vlogging, starting with, for you guys, it'll be today, which will be September 1st. Um, and then I'm trying to go through the entirety of the month of September my goal being, you know, to kind of force myself to really dive into uh, YouTube and creating content um, in a loose, fun, you know, creative way. Things that make me happy. Um, so this is, you know, these might be a little more experimental. Um, I'm just trying to figure out how to do all of this. From here, though, basically, I am just continuing on with the sketching phase, or the, I guess I should say, like, the really early sketching phase of um, this next collection we're going to do for Halloween. Um, it's just something, some of these will translate into final illustrations, some of them won't. Um, and some of these are things that may not, so, like, if my mom or you guys are looking at it, it may not be an exact representation of what I'm thinking. It's just kind of like taking notes of the idea that I'm having and then it'll translate differently once I actually dive into the piece, um, which I know is frustrating for my mom because she um, wants to be on board with kind of what I'm thinking, but you know, not, not always do I translate that super well. So that's one thing I'm working on. Um, one thing I did want to talk about is because it's paper deer is so small, um, well, relatively so small, we are able to have a really quick um, turnaround relatively to like, if say like a larger business. So we don't have to work a year or seasons, numerous seasons in advance. Um, we would like to work a little ahead so that we aren't, you know, killing ourselves getting a launch together. But, um, you know, we do have the luxury of we are, we do pretty much everything in house, um, with the exception of some of our uh, sewing stuff that we've had to outsource and um, printing our like scrapbook paper. Everything else we do in house. And so, because of that, we're able to kind of, you know, it's August 31st. We're hoping to have this launched within like a week, two weeks, absolutely max. And we can do that because we are, you know, just a two woman team. Um, and so it's kind of a fun thing, 
about this. Like, you know, I can start to get these illustrations done and then I get them to her and then we both start designing and then it's, it's just kind of like a nicer momentum. Um, at least we're both enjoying it currently. So speaking of trying to get, um, you know, like, so I just finished a, the collection called Wormwood, um, and that is a very fall, um, kind of in the woods feeling, you know, all of the characters are very storybook-esque, um, there's definitely a lot of backstory to it, and I love, love, love that, um, but that has a very different vibe to what I'm going for for Halloween, and I'm not feeling the spooky vibes yet, guys, um, so one thing I always do in my process to try to get myself ready for whatever project I'm working on, in this case it'd be Halloween, I try to put myself in that mindset. So while it's still actually quite hot outside and it's, you know, the leaves are beginning to barely kind of change and fall is coming, you can kind of tell some nights get a little bit cooler. It's not fall yet. So one of the big things I do is I immerse myself in fall stuff. So like I light candles that smell like fall. I listen to Spotify playlists that are all about Halloween. I watch my favorite Halloween movies. Um, while this is going on in the background, I was watching um, Nightmare Before Christmas, which I've seen four million times. But, you know, it's just a nice background thing and it kind of helps me feel like, hey, we're, you know, I'm inspired by the things that, like, I can kind of get in the mindset, if that makes sense. Um, so that's just kind of my process. I go through sketching, I go through, well, I go through list making and then sketching, and then I go through um, seeing what we did before, seeing if there's anything I want to continue on from there, um, anything I definitely don't want to use, and then I immerse myself in, you know, music and smells and songs and stuff that remind me of the feeling I'm trying to go for and then I just start working and I just sketch and sketch and sketch until I feel like I've got at least most of the ideas kind of worked out. I do like to have some freedom to play when I get actually to the illustration stage which I will show you a little bit more about that tomorrow. But overall I'm pretty excited about the direction this is starting to take and I'm really excited to dive more into it. I'm definitely feeling the black and white, slightly creepy, slightly cute vibes. Um, and I'm definitely really into the little cat ghosts. So I'd love to know what you guys think of this stuff. Let me know in the comments, please. I have answered a bunch of emails. I've worked on the sketches or loose sketches for Halloween line. I had a FaceTime call um, meeting thing with my mom, talking about this, talking about some stuff from the Wormwood collection, uh, figuring out what I need to do tonight for tomorrow. Um, I need to do two illustrations, official illustrations for this, and I need to do one thing for Wormwood. Um, we need to get some stuff for fabric things ordered, like, tomorrow morning, so I have to get those done tonight. I'm gonna edit this vlog, and try to get that uploaded. I guess I can upload that tonight. I don't know. We'll see how that works. I'm not sure what time of day this will upload, but I'm going to figure this out of promise. Anyway, so I have all that to do tonight. This, it will end up being a late night, um, and because of the vlogging, I'm still getting used to it, um, has slowed me down just a little bit. I am probably going to go ahead and cut the vlog here for today, and then I will show you more of my, like, illustration process tomorrow. Um, so yeah, I guess thank you so much for watching this. This has been fun for me. It is a little awkward. We will probably still stay awkward for a while. Try to get better though. Um, but you know, it's YouTube, so do the things. Like, subscribe, comment. You know, let's hang out. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!